Washington, as the Senate marched ahead Wednesday with a bipartisan approach to prevent a government shutdown, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was back to square one, asking his hard-right Republicans to do what they have said they would never do. Approve their own temporary House measure to keep the government open. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than the Republican Speaker laid out his strategy Wednesday behind closed doors, urging his unruly Republican majority to work together. He set up a test vote for Friday, one day before Saturday's shutdown deadline, on a far-right bill. It would slash federal spending by 8% from many agencies and toughen border security but was rejected by President Joe Biden, Democrats and his own right-flank Republicans. I want to solve the problem, McCarthy told reporters afterward at the Capitol, but pressed on how he would pass a partisan Republican spending plan that even his own right flank doesn't want, McCarthy had few answers. He rejected the Senate's bipartisan bill, which would fund the government to November 17, adding $6 billion for Ukraine and $6 billion for U.S. disaster relief while talks continue. People are also reading. Napa Safeway site withers away during long-term, ghost, lease grocery store comes to Napa's. Iconic food city center Starbucks opens 7th Cafe in Napa Police. Man arrested after menacing woman, vandalizing Napa restaurant letter. NVUSD board has an attitude problem Napa High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Boy it inspired by family. Lot injured Napa Bulldog gets three names. One forever home update. Trike rider who died in Napa County crash identified Napa man arrested on carjacking. Allegation, police say weekend rain headed to Napa County, Bay Area Napa Valley 10 questions. Local business owner makes Napa, Bougie, 6 arrested. 30 cited at Napa DUI checkpoint Napa's Fuller Park to debut, playable art, structure in 2025 Vintage High School Athletic Hall of Fame. 8 crushers to be inducted October 21st Napa Biz Buzz. La Morinita market doubles in size with SBA funding. Time equals. 400 Ms. Greater than Congress is at a crossroads days before a disruptive federal shutdown that would halt paychecks for millions of federal workers, leave 2 million active duty military troops and reservists to work without pay, close down many federal offices and leave Americans who rely on the government in ways large and small in the lurch. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than at a meeting of the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology in California, Biden said Wednesday he didn't think a federal shutdown was inevitable. I don't think anything is inevitable when it comes to politics, Biden said. Time equals 400 ms. greater than but when asked what could be done to avoid it, the president said, if I knew that I would have done it already. As the Senate pushes ahead in bipartisan fashion, McCarthy demanded that Biden meet to discuss border security measures. But the beleaguered speaker has little leverage left with the White House without the power of his House majority behind him and after he walked away from the dead deal he and Biden reached this year. On the other side of the Capitol, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer opened the chamber warning of the right-wing extremes that seemed to exult in shutting down government. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than listen now and subscribe. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, RSS Feed, Omni Studio Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell was in rare agreement with the Democratic leader, urging his House colleagues to consider the Senate's stopgap approach and move off the shutdown strategy. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, we can take the standard approach and fund the government for six weeks at the current rate of operations or we can shut the government down in exchange for zero meaningful progress on policy, McConnell said. McConnell said he, too, would like to do something about the, Democrats' reckless spending, and boost border security. But he said, these important discussions cannot progress, if the functions of government, end up being taken hostage. When McConnell mentioned a vote against the bill would mean voting against pay for Border Patrol agents and others, it sparked a response from Biden on social media. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, you know, I agree with Mitch here. Why the House Republicans would want to defund Border Patrol is beyond me, Biden wrote. With the Senate expected to spend the rest of this week working to pass its bill over the objections of Senator Rand Paul, RKY, and others on the right flank who want to halt. Aid to Ukraine and push for steeper spending cuts, all action in Congress is moving toward a last-minute deadline. The federal government would begin to shut down if funding is not secured by Sunday, October 1, the start of the new fiscal year. Running out of options, McCarthy revived the border security package he first tried to attach to a temporary government funding bill only to be rebuffed by the hard-right conservatives demanding more this month. But it's late in the process to be pushing the border security provisions now as McCarthy tries to shift blame to Biden and Democrats for not engaging in an immigration debate about the record flow of migrants at the southern border with Mexico. 
McCarthy faces a handful of holdouts determined to force the House to debate and pass all 12 individual bills through a grinding process with weeks of debate even if it means the government will shut down, if that means we close and we shut down, that's what we're going to do, said Rep. Andy Ogles, a Tennessee Republican who wants the House to vote on all 12 bills, as he exited the morning Republican meeting. Lawmakers are prepared to work into the weekend, but one leading Republican on the Appropriations Committee, Rep. Steve Womack, said he believed. Congress was headed towards a government shutdown. Somebody is going to have to flinch or break, or there will have to be something negotiated, he said. Tags DCC Wire Lee National be the first to know get local news delivered to your inbox, sign up. Asterisk I understand and agree that registration on or use of this site constitutes agreement to its user agreement and privacy policy.